Yeah, they're they're one. Yeah, they, they were watching that set with open eyes, like, okay, Wario does this, Wario does that. Yeah, they're like, okay, <laughs> we gotta learn what Wario tries to do in dubs. MK Leo looking really sharp yesterday, though, in the uh, the mini tournament we had. Oh yeah. I was watching him play Corn. His Corn's nuts. He hit a lots of Bayonetta coming out. Yeah. Too. Him and Captain Zack played a Bayo Ditto, and I think Leo won. Yeah, a it, game game four. Yeah. Game four he won. Yeah. It was crazy how he won it too. Did you see that? Yeah. He like cl barely clipped him with like max rage and basically killed him. It and was... then it came to losers bracket, Captain Zack and Tyroy. That went game five, two premier Bayonettas. Uh, Captain Zack took it. Damn. Tyro's so good too, man. He's really good. Is Ned considered? I'm sorry, like I should definitely know this, but Ned's one in Chicago. Yeah, Ned's one. Yeah, that's what I thought. But, but and, uh, as of recently, just Tyro's been going to a lot more stuff. Yeah, I've been looking. Like I'm obviously part of uh, Chicago Smash Four. I see him like just winning these locals, and I'm like, damn, Tyro. Like, yeah, all right. no. I'm like, dude, you have like cash in your pocket at all times. Just from that, uh, those Bayo local wins, man. Cash back at Julasco, nah. <laughs> so we're gonna get double Bayo. It looks like. Very nice. I like that. Uh, we saw it earlier. They were playing double bail a little bit. We're going to be against the Wario Cloud ones again. And obviously, green team's going to definitely have the knowledge of how bail works. But I mean, this is MK Leo bail. This is Captain Zack bail. Like, yeah, this is this is just. This is the team, man. These this are the behemoth bails. Yeah. Like. And it's funny because, like, we're giving a lot of credit to MK Leo's bail. And, like, you've never seen it. It's very, very good. We saw it yesterday. It's right. very good. When he knows this character is good, I have the aptitude to play this character. Yeah. So I'll put her in my pocket. Like, why not? Why? Literally, why not? Yeah. You look through his characters, it's like Cloud, Bayo, Orin, Marth, like, Meta Knight. Do you want to mess with this guy at all? No. And that's what you just got to do to succeed if, if you have the aptitude and the ability Capability, to play that character. Yeah. So it is going to be starting at Smashville. Looks like fist bumps are out, and here we go, guys. Captain Ducks Zach and, smiles. Let's do it. and MK Lyle versus Europe's own Lutney and Mark Free. Will the invaders take it? Man, this would be quite, quite an upset, wouldn't it? Let's do it. Really excited to see. <laughs> and notice he always opens with the bike. bike. Yeah. It's like the, the guy, if you play Falcon, it's like the guy who opens up with the Raptor, Raptor boost, boost every time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, great start from the green team, though. Barely taking any percentage. Uh, Leo taking 79 already, man. But Very does nice. that really mean too much when there's Cloud on the screen? And Glendy does a good job finding these windows to back air. He clipped them both right there. That was good. Ooh, that double jump and arrow was so smart. And Mark Free has limit so early. I think he'll need this in this set. So. Yeah, him holding on to the limit, waiting for the rolls in, the jumps possibly to stage while Kutoni holds down that ledge. And he knows he's going to get fair chained off the stage a lot. He's probably going to want to recover with the climb hazard too. My biggest, uh, ooh, okay. Actually, wow. both the green team up in the skies right now, and this is where Bayonetta's going to take full that advantage. It's been man. a really unfortunate exchange for the green team if they both got sucked into that witch twist. Oh, man. Seen it enough times. Ooh, I like that. Uh, so, actually, MK Lo Leo losing the first stock here. Getting a double kill. And I think green team's okay with that. Yeah, he would have thrown fine. him quicker if he wasn't okay with that. No, yeah, that's completely fine. Oh, here we go, though. This could be some good damage off the witch time. And Mark Regis using that with a quick up air. That was good. Off the respawn, Tony's already 76%. Like, that trade was fine. Blue team making that trade almost look worth. Totally. Oh, great bite, though. Yeah, that was good. He caught the witch time. Ooh, and he caught that back air, and then Glutoni actually caught a back air as well. Straight bike by dead. And there will do it. Man, blue team taking full advantage when one of the players is dead on the green team. That was spaced so nicely. Ooh, that fair is lasting <laughs> so long. Oh, no, and man. The out of shield uh, nares you see a lot. That was a great punish. See, the timer, you. dude. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> that was such a good punish. He saw, you oh, you're grabbed him and your teammates know where you're. Oh, dude, you've done for. It's like, yeah, this has been going on for two minutes. I got to have off. I got to have off now. Yeah, come on now. Jabs, good luck SDI. Someone got foot sold around there somewhere. Well, jab is dangerous in doubles, but he didn't get stopped, so. Yeah, while his teammate was up in the sky. That conversion. They at the same time. That was awesome. Everybody looking very in sync with their teammate right now, and this is what you expect with high level players. Three stocks to two. Man, that's a, that's a pretty decent lead. I mean, Tony definitely doesn't want to take the stock to hold on as long as he can. Though green team is in the red zone, yeah, so he has to be careful with that. I, oh, and he was just a little late. That's unfortunate. Woo! I thought he was about to uh, cross size Kutoni <laughs> for a second. I'm like, oh no. I think he tried to go in the bike, try to interrupt the, the follow up for the bails. Ooh. This is one on one. And that just worked out really nicely for Gluttony, and he takes it. 
What? That was crazy. Everybody just died at once. Platoni's like, I'm in the one on one. Let me just back here and kill MKLeo real quick. Best player in the world. You know both teams are sweating right now. Best of five. So we. this is best of five now. We've gotten this far in the bracket. Hope you guys are enjoying us here at Midwest Mayhem 11. Oh, yeah, man. I hope so as well. High level talent, high level players. And we still have on the other setup uh, Ned and Locust versus Tyroy and Big Mac. Uh, the set count is one to one, so. If you're a fan of doubles, if you like doubles even just a little bit, you're probably enjoying yourself so much seeing all these different interesting characters. It's just not a cloud, 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 cloud. Oh, you yeah. You got Wario. Okay, I, I said interesting. <laughs> I never realized it's Cloud Bayonetta, Bayonetta. <laughs> but you got Wario, man. Enjoy the Wario while you got it. Can't find that anywhere else. Let's go. Not really, no. Not against these players. No, yeah. Most <laughs> of the time, it, they don't. Wario will not take a game against MK Leo and Captain yeah. Tech. <laughs> and catching that witch time out of shield right under it, he gets the up air. Shout out to Mark Bree. Yeah, he's kind of like the unsung hero of the team, man. He. Ooh. <laughs> 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 well, he is going to lose his stock to. No. Stop it! No. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Claudia gonna go out there and try to save him, but he loses two early stocks. The unsung hero. Uh, it's four stocks to six. <laughs> Jeez. I literally talked. Never mind. It's okay. So let's see. Okay, good lock from uh, Glutney. Getting I, a little I, too I, aggressive with that charge F smash, though. That whole exchange just gave me anxiety. I'm still recovering, but I'm good now. Yeah, my um, breath Glutney is coming loses. back slowly. <laughs> Glutney loses his first stock to uh, Captain Zach. Yeah, blue team with a solid six, six to three stocks, doubling the amount of stocks the green team has, man. And you can kind of tell how desperate the green team's getting with Gluttony just kind of throwing out those F-Smashes in neutral. Blue team probably feeling really good about this game so far. I would hope, yeah. I would, <laughs> they almost got a freaking uh, witch time town and city platform. Oh like, oh, wait. Okay, I didn't know if that would have locked or not the bullets. No, it's not. Okay, so green team trying to make that comeback. Finds their first stock, but uh, it's pretty clear. Oh. Oh, it's Lord. pretty clear that Todd's up smash is one of the most soul-taking moves in doubles for him. It is so good. Ooh, I think maybe he wanted Nair there or possibly thought... Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, double kill! Glutini. That was sick nasty by Glutoni. So clutch. And Hey, guess what, guys? Stocks are even. Let's go. Man, off such an interesting start. Glutoni playing, being so clutch, bringing this game right on back. Also saving his... Which times are just being flinged out left and right, and that's what's making this so exciting to watch because you're trying to see if the team's gonna escape or convert off of it. And I also think that MK Leo and Captain Zach are making the adjustment, realizing that Mark Reed's landing with a lot of uh, hitboxes, yeah. so they can kind of just go up there and throw them for free. You're landing with there every time. Which time is an easy conversion? And like I said, Blue Team was probably feeling good. Now they're a little more nervous, and they're leaning up in their seats and sweaty. They they know they got a really a little more shook for sure. Yeah. Especially if they lose another stock, they're like, how did we lose a lead like that? Man, he has been witch time so much. Oh, no back here. The classic taunt by Captain Zach. Yeah. Um, ooh, that was some great extended dash there. Okay, so Mark, we're gonna have to recover. Not gonna get clipped by that Nair. Forward throw will take Blue Tony stock. So now it's all up to Mark Bree. Blue Tony. Blue Tony Glutney, that's gonna keep messing me up. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, because we even talked about it before we got War on. Yeah, Warrior's a glutton, dude. He, he, he literally eats everything. <laughs> like, come on. And that was a great edge guard by MKLeo. As so Zach's that came, to stomp him into oblivion. That came, like you said, a little bit of anxiety there, man. That was, <laughs> that hurt me a little bit while watching. I'm like, huh, huh, what's going on? Our, we both just, like, grab each other and we're, we're like, like what? on our Stop. breath for a bit. <laughs> Stop. Even after, like... Oh, okay, wow. Very convincing game for blue team. And all of a sudden, Glutoni just farts on both the blue team. And they both died. I'm like, I'm just leaning back in our seats. <laughs> like, what a, the worst part about it, I hate, is like when you say somebody's like, wow, unsung hero, and then just instantly dies. Yeah. And then nearly <laughs> dies again. And it looks like they are going to Battlefield. Talked about this a little bit earlier. Kind of a good, good stage for Cloud. Bayonetta likes it. Can reset the jumps on the top platform. I think that's a really good pick for the green team, though. They will live a little longer. Oh, on yeah. The top, at least. Yeah, definitely. Blue Tony can control these two horizontal blast zones like no other with Mike. That is very true. Making it very difficult just to get back, even with all the resources that uh, Bayonetta has. Right. And two multi jabs at the same time. It was like a synchronized dance team. <laughs> like a synchronized swimming team, dude. Yeah. I'm underrated sport, by the way. <laughs> all right, let's get back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, which time again? Gonna hold down the shield. Which wow. time's the bike as well? Oh, so smart and 
the space there by MK Lev does not take or by Captain Zack, I'm sorry. He's not gonna take it. Another waste time landing with those hitboxes has been a death sentence for Mark Free so far, man. Landing there is really good until a pro player gets your timing down and uh, starts wish timing it. If I'm not mistaken, Waft is live, so maybe we'll see Blood and Glutoni get another nasty double kill with it. Yeah, that was definitely clutch for them last game, possibly almost looking like they were gonna bring it back for a second. Oh, and very smart by MK Leo saving Captain Zack. Even though I think Captain Zack was gonna clip ledge anyway, it never hurts to make sure. It looks really hard for Glutoni to actually ledge guard because Wish Twist, that, oh, was, that was really so smart. Really, really good. Okay, and actually, Goes for the upgrade. That would have been the stock as well. That would have evened it right on up, but instead, we still have Leo living. We gotta get this stock by Leo, yeah. Oh no. He wanted the footstool. Yeah. Like, I'm positive he wanted the footstool. So, yeah, Glutoni gonna lose his stock. Getting a little greedy out there. Uh, but we've seen him do crazy things like that previously. Right. If you've ever he, watched any of his highlights. He does not. He has such a good mentality because things like that just don't demoralize him. No, especially with the comeback factor that Wario has, man. Yeah. You just can't let it get to you. Oh, great grab though. Follow up. Let's see. Nothing. I like Five that nair. To three. I'm a little. He broke the shield. Goodbye. No. no! <laughs> what? Well, what it was was Lutoni didn't want Mark Free to use limit. He's but like, he just hold on to it. And he started. He started charging before. Yeah. Uh. Sad days, man. Sad days. Plutonic being clutch. Okay, the situation is not awful still. No, it's not bad. Definitely not. Especially Cloud is at high percent, so I mean. Yeah, Cloud at only 27 right now. Not too bad. He can find the limit. Maybe a little bit. Good after kick to hustle to that platform by Kaleo. All right, things became a lot more difficult. Things yep. became a lot more. Oh, is that up smash? <laughs> and people say doubles is not hype. <laughs> you say Vayna is not hype. Look at this game. Every every audience member has to be on the edge of their seat. I'm viewer. freaking out. Grasping for life. It's not on the projector, but Ooh. I think they made a mistake. Yeah. What? <laughs> Come on. A, a waft kill, shield break? A double waft the previous game? These witch People time People will see those VODs. Those yes. VODs will go. That crazy. was insane. If you want to play Wario, what and you want to learn, man. Uh, uh, I didn't see it. We'll find out in a second. Oh, we're back to Battlefield. And honestly, I still think this is a pretty decent pick by Green. You said earlier, giving them more room to live. Definitely. Seemed to work out for them, definitely. There was a few instances where the Green team was way up in the skies and still could actually survive. Do you think we'll see a Game 5? I, yes. Yeah. I'm saying how clutch Matoni is. I'm saying yes. Mark Bree can bring it back to how he was playing Game 1. Yeah. I definitely think Game 5 is on the table. Oh, okay, good air dodge. I like that, actually. Uh, Mark Bree not overextending, even on an opportunity to follow up. He, he broke up that string, or Glenny broke up that string going in on him. Attack. That bike just flying through the battlefield, just all nonchalant, like, eh, whatever. And both players keep splitting these <laughs> uh, matchups up. Okay, landing with the dare. It seems like one of the more. Uh, wow. Dead. And the, that uh, down hit uh, his dare really sold it. Wow, that's insane. Mark Bree once again landing with dare, getting punished, not by witch time, but by an up smash. With the platforms, I mean. Top left. Yeah. Oh. hangs in there. That's within, not gonna go left. Oh, and let's go. Captain Zach going really deep for that. They yeah. really want to steal Gluttony stocks because they know he's got that kill factor. And he goes solo with the bike because he can recover from that low. Okay, great tech. Knowing he's gonna have to tech there. Um, interesting. No punish there, but blue team stuck at this corner. And there we go, Mark. Green, let's find those stocks, dude. Um. Oh, oh. the air dodge! Blue Tony saying, what you doing? Don't air dodge. And he recovers to the left, showing up that Wario tech. Throws him Ooh, off the stage. Tech, so that was one thing as the top players just showing their abilities. One thing Lutoni's kind of known for: if you don't tech that, he will footstool you. He will dare you and make you tech again. Yeah. And like a lot of people actually, a bayonetta will die for that. It's a one-way ticket to Tech Town. <laughs> yeah, it's like, dog, you can't tech. I win actually. <laughs> Fights his know. teammate, but still not the worst thing in the world. Okay, yeah, it actually was, <laughs> but that's all right. Really unfortunate exchange for the red yeah. team. But Tony's losing his first stock. I like the idea of Mark Bree trying to go up there and nair him, maybe stop some of that uh, momentum that he had from the up smash. He's at 162%. I don't know. That really would have mattered too much. Between that witch time and that star KO, the blue team had so much time alone with Mark Bree, and he really uh, handled that well. Yeah, only taking 40%. Not too bad. And actually finding the back throw here, hoping to set up with Tony, but. I mean, this game is oh, wow. actually Green Team's favorite. They're playing very well. Game five, possibly on the table, man. Like, 
Especially no. oh. when you hit a cross slash like that. Uh, and and Kaleo, or Zach defuses it. And Glutoni holding onto these stocks too. So oh, up you smash on landing. Man. The wish times, it looks like Mark Reed possibly mixing up his timings. Instead of going for aerials and getting wish timed every time, he's kind of staying more grounded, but dies right there, actually. That was absolutely sick. It's gotta feel tough. It's gotta be tough to share a stock with a Wario. Oh, definitely. Especially when uh, a player like the Tony, who wants to get another WAF, another stock would allow him to do that. But you gotta do what you gotta do, man. 140. Hopefully he'll live long enough to see another half WAF. Exactly. That's what I think Tony's hoping for, or just find the stock on the oh, MK Leo. But and that's gonna see. Is like that a double? Dude, he just got dual fisted. He's <laughs> dual fisted. That's two, not one. We'll talk about that. That was that was something. But uh, MK Leo, Captain Zach, gonna actually take that one, even though Leo was at like 160 for like three minutes. Yeah, no, he. Just okay, that's a that's an exaggeration. It was he maybe boxed a minute, him. He's one, two. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is like a nice little one too. For the wake up. So great set though. Man, yeah. oh, that's fun. That, I, was, that was incredible. I will go back and watch those vibes. I am literally gonna <laughs> like at the moment I'm done here, I am gonna use the Wi-Fi that we have here and just <laughs> watch some of those vibes, because that was nuts. That was wild. Um, but good stuff. Good Tony and Mark Reed not out of it yet. That was winter side. That was. So they can still make that run and they definitely show it against the number one seed. They're more than capable of making it. And they adapted to the double bayonetta team so, so well. Dude, so great. And it, it, it was funny because you could see the back and forth adaptation. The Bayonetta team started witch timing all the landings. Yeah. You saw green team was getting way too aggressive with their landing aerials. Witch time took a game convincingly, saw less of that, saw the green team stay more grounded, yep. and it worked out very well. And I think we saw the most ad adaptation from Mark Bree. Mm -hmm. He really noticed how often these two Bayos play against Cloud, and he said, all right, I'm going to get a little less aggressive. I'm not going to swing as often. He waited for some landings, and it changed the whole game. Whole game. Once you get, like, allow uh, Glutiny try to take control of the skies with his bike and his aerials and all his pressure, force an air dodge or two, that's where Cloud comes in, cleans up those stocks. Definitely. Um, so, we're going to have another game Let me in check a second. Really it looks quick. like Maloney's sitting down. Okay. That's what and Slime Shady are playing together. Let's go. Okay. Uh, Slime Shady, best nest in Michigan, was PR, not PR anymore. Um, S1, if you have not watched this guy, he is a tech god. I caught some of his friendlies yesterday, and he was nuts. I'm telling you, go back and watch some of his sets just in Europe in general. He does, like, auto-cancel down air, run off platform, auto-cancel up air, turn around back air. And you're like, dog, like, you did more in that half a second than I can do with any character. I can't even jab three by that time. That's, like, That's the power of the dodge, dude. He's, he's dodge, right? I'm pretty yeah, sure I'm pretty sure he is as well. We saw Daybreak Maloney earlier. 